Hey Leo, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. Hope all is genuinely well with you. Thank you so very much for joining me today. This video is going to be for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Leo, uh, let's look into what's going on with your career and purpose. Leo. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me Leo. As a shuffle Leo, I want you to bear in mind that this is a general reading. And this reading is not geared like to resonate to a T. This is a reading meant for a large audience, which automatically means there are going to be certain variations to the story, to everybody's story. Not everyone will have the same exact story as everybody else. So keep that in mind and listen to this with an open mind. Yep. Got it. Leo, you are a messenger. Time to free yourself, Leo. Of whatever is holding you back what can you let go of your spirit guides want you to liberate yourself of something of someone could even be a romantic relationship because i do feel that for some of you leos somebody in your life has been destructive oh leo you come up in the upright i love it some of you may have children or you have a leo child some of you may have an aspiration to be a mother some of you might be finding out that you're expecting. Some of you could definitely have been gifted as children, endowed with some type of um, a uh, message to share, a gift of yours since childhood. Yep, some of you are involved with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you yourselves may have this in your chart. Mm, somebody that you can't let go of. Some things that maybe you haven't been able to move past. And these things might be indirectly affecting your money. Some of you Leos could definitely be um, gravitating to food. And of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Nourishment, we're talking about food, right? What's no longer sustaining you? What do you need to let go of? Is it past wounds? Because it does, like I said, feel like maybe something happened to you when you were a child that could be blocking you. Because it does look like healing is going to be an integral part of your next move. Forgiveness. Becoming self-aware. What do you need to forgive? What do you need to let go of? What is blocking you? Because... Uh, I feel like, oh, is it the death of somebody... Somebody pass on. Somebody pass to the afterlife. Oh, yo. There's something about your childhood. Let's see what this is. I, I don't know. I, I feel stuck on this. Aquarius could be significant for you. And so could Aries. You may be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. Scorpio is going to be relevant for you. That's the water sign right here. Pressure. Maybe you had a lot of pressure as a child. Maybe that pressure is translating to you this day. Maybe you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you. Pressure to perform. Maybe pressure to be like everybody else. And yeah, maybe you were separated from your mother or father at a young age, possibly through death. Maybe there was a parent of yours that wasn't around. Maybe you were kept away from a parent. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of innocence. Could have been that your innocence was violated in some type of way. Whatever the case may be, I see healing. Like there is a need for healing. Maybe to get to the next chapter of your life. Because it does feel like your spirit guides may want you to pause. Pause and look at some things in your life and make a decision about what you really want to do. You're going to be healing from a lot of things. This could definitely be physical healing from some type of physical trauma. It could have been that maybe you are you were violated as a child. This could be physical wounds. This could be emotional wounds. But it looks like some wounds may need to be confronted coming up in this period of time. No, you could be empowering other people. Or this could just be about self-empowering, changing, creating change and some control in your life being an example to other people and maybe using some past experiences here with the child, like childhood past experiences that, that you could be using to help other people. Uh, unlocking your heart. Uh, 
somebody disappoint you, this sadness as a child is really translating into this day. For some of you, this might be somebody that you have a child with. You may have a child with somebody that could have, um, or this could have been a mother of yours um, growing up. Somebody could have been very destructive. Yep, and I got the devil card right at the top as soon as the synchronicity. Thank you, Spirit. Yep, some of you, this was a toxic lover. This was somebody that put you in a third party situation, somebody that may have destroyed your morale, destroyed that childlike innocence, that um, innocence even as an adult. You know, children have this fearlessness about them. Ooh, somebody's a liar. You got an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that's not in their highest power somewhere around you. Or this could be you. Destroying other people's dreams, their potential. This could have happened to you as a kid and this might be where you're kind of stuck. Be where maybe your morale is a bit stuck here. So it's time to release whatever it was is was or is potentially destructive because i promise you something might be bringing you to a dark place something might be having you grieving you might be feeling sad it'll be the anniversary of somebody's death you feel separated from somebody if it's not somebody through death and it's like like i said are you missing this toxic lover no somebody is tyrannical tyranny anger whether this is you or this is what you grow up grew up seeing i don't know even though we're reading about career i can't help but to notice your emotional well-being okay maybe you did something against your better judgment and you might be regretting that decision or you are missing somebody what is this about what are you it's a parent of yours, or like I said, a grandparent, somebody that had a really big influence over your life. Yep, somebody passed away. I definitely feel like, for some of you Leos, okay, you got a divine masculine. Or some of you could definitely be encountering your divine masculine. You're missing somebody. Interesting. What's going on? Yeah. You have had a lot of trauma and pain in your life. And I feel like you're going to be using this trauma and pain to help guide other people. That, what is this about a love relationship? This is like, the, I see a platonic love situation, situation for some of you, but others of you, I see a love relationship, a full-fledged love relationship with um, a divine masculine who could be an Aries or might have Aries in his chart, his or her chart. Does this person get caught up in a pregnancy? Like somebody traps somebody for money or traps somebody for pregnancy? Is that who you're missing? Who you've been crying over and maybe you want to go back to? I don't know. Maybe somebody has burned their bridges with you. You may have burned your bridges with somebody. You're worried about money. You're worried about finances. Why? What is it with this King of Cups? So if you are Leos on the... Why am I saying cancer cusp? But I see Scorpio is going to be relevant to you. Mm, you've been putting it, you've been sacrificing a lot, putting in your blood, sweat, and tears into something that's just not working out. It could be your job. Like this, I, I, I don't, there's something else I want to do, but I'm not ending this job. I, I'm not going to leave this. Like I said, there's something that you're having a difficult time letting go of. It could be, like I said, your job. Are you snapping at people? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, you're definitely guarded. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Yep, it's affecting your money. So your mouth, you could be like reckless at the mouth with somebody. And that could cost you your job, possibly, Leo. Or that could cause you to lose some money in some type of way. I don't know, some of you could be very apathetic when it comes to your job, you're bored. You're not happy there. You're not really, you're just kind of going through the motions. You don't give the same effort that you used to. Why am I getting this so often with the Seven of Swords? Somebody lie on your name 
or vice versa? Could it be you, Libra? There could definitely be a confrontation about somebody's lies, a confrontation about thievery, theft. This King of Cups sure does keep showing up. I get Scorpio the strongest, but of course it could be a Cancer. Uh, like I said, Leo, you could definitely be on the Cancer cusp. Um, or Pisces. Yeah, strong Pisces. Emphasis on, but the Cancer, you got the Moon. King of Cups came up next to the Moon. So no doubt about it. Some of you, this is a Cancerian. You might have a Moon in Cancer or you could be dealing with somebody that has a Moon in Cancer. Um, Leo, you might have Earth in your chart. Okay, yeah, third party situation. You're not talking to somebody. Maybe you're not talking to somebody at work. Some of you, this is a love triangle going on at work. And it's causing a lot of drama. It's distracting you. You're on guard. Why? So it looks like you're having fun with somebody. You got a really strong, fun connection with somebody. And, um, but see, I don't, or there's somebody that's flirting with you. And it looks like somebody is look, looking into a, like looking to have a superficial relationship. Somebody's not looking to get into something too deep. They're just trying to keep it light. Uh, because it, it could be that maybe like you could be turning a friendship into a relationship with this King of Cups or this Queen of Pentacles. And maybe this person is married. Or you're married and somebody's really not not interested in taking a relationship to the next level. You got Libra at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Some of you could definitely work in the legal system. You might work in the justice system. You could definitely be like a social justice warrior, an SJW type of thing. You're an advocate of some type. Leo, yep, somebody ghosted you. That's what I'm saying, yep. Social justice. You could be a social worker of some type. You could definitely be an advocate. You could be standing up for the underdog, possibly. But yeah, there's an old chapter that I feel like you're not closing. You're resisting closing a chapter of your life, maybe out of fear. I don't know. Do some of you want to start your own business? Like, I see a home-based business. Okay. You want to be very cautious about who you discuss money matters with. Because you got this seven of swords. It's like there's somebody around you in your work environment that um, you're going to be cautious of. I'm going to say somebody's trying to trap you for some of you. Somebody could be trapping you because of your money, because you do well for yourself. Be careful at this time, Leo, about overspending. Make sure that you're you're focusing, like overspending on wants instead of needs, yeah? Because it looks like you might have more money going out that's coming in. I don't know. You might be worried about money. Be careful about overspending at this time. You're grabbing the attention of somebody. Yep, something needs to be brought into alignment somewhere in your life. Because it looks like you're unfulfilled. Yep, I did say. You could be working in law enforcement, the police. You could be working in the jail systems, um, courts, criminal justice. Yeah, if somebody is being dishonest about money, financial matters, even maybe taxes. Looks like somebody might get caught up and somebody might have to face some type of consequences about a lie. Yeah, some of you, there's some type of drastic cutoff. Some of you could be getting fired because of some type of lie or some type of gossip or some type of plagiarism. And this could definitely trigger something within you. Otherwise, this is a relationship 
because it looks like maybe there's something like I said you're not talking to somebody and that could trigger you in some type of way some of you like I said you have 30 third party situations going on at work with somebody who is married and some of you have this on again off again relationship with somebody that could be triggering you maybe this is somebody that you're not talking to your spirit guides are causing you like encouraging for you to pause because they want you to focus on finding happiness within self than searching for a happiness with somebody else because for some of you leos you might be caught get caught in up get getting caught up with somebody that maybe needs to do some shadow work of their own somebody may have ghosted you and somebody may not be the best for you and this could be causing you to feel lost in the shuffle right now what i am feeling is that if some of you this is so similar i promise you this is similar to what i was it pisces scorpio there's a water sign here and this is similar to libra where maybe there's a, a job loss because it does look like there is like a a cutoff here so you could be getting fired you could be getting let go of your job there could be cutbacks going on at your job what's happening with leo's job some of you may have an aspiration to do something online yep and if that's the case they're saying don't stop Oh, or maybe some of you, you're waiting. You're waiting. You're delaying something. You're, you're waiting for the perfect time to do something. For some of you, the perfect time is now. Like if there was some type of job cut off, this is the perfect time to get something started. Maybe there's something that you've been stalling on doing, stalling on starting. Some of you are getting married or you're dealing with somebody who is married. Yeah, your spirit guides, they... um feel like you have a wonderful idea and this wonderful idea could definitely be an answer to your prayers and I feel like your spirit guides want you to move forward with it they're not saying quit your job abruptly but they are saying that there's something that yeah some of you it is maybe time to cut ties with a job this could have been maybe like this could be like very deliberate. Maybe that this this job was distracting you and taking you away from from the messages that your spirit guides have been trying to give you. And it could definitely be that they're telling you that hey, you know what? It's time to put put the the gears into action to slowing something down and letting go of it. Or like I said, some of you are getting let go of a job. And yeah, that would be the case. It could be um, layoffs. Or this is you realizing, you know what? Yeah, let me put this plan into action. I do have this brilliant idea and it definitely leads to some positive changes. Radio, public relations, or anything that has to do with communication. Yeah, you'll be doing something on social media, or like I said, a social justice warrior, that type of thing. Like, yeah, but you've been putting it off. You've been putting this idea on the back burner for whatever reason, because I don't know. I feel like you may definitely have the psychic ability, really. You might um, be able to see what may not be conceivable to other people. <sighs> you may have a lot of insight to give to other people. Be careful that you're not selling yourself short. I give it in just for money and it's not really what you want to do or you're doing you're being invited to do something that's unethical and you really just are like doing it for money and you really don't want to do it you might be just work like just for the sake of survival but something might be coming at this at the expense of your self-esteem yeah, somebody is. This is like plagiarism. It's like somebody doesn't want to put in effort, so they may be stealing with the Seven of Swords. Somebody's going to get um, found out. Somebody's going to get ratted out. Somebody is very abusive of their power in some type of way, trying to make themselves look bigger than they are, like feeling more important than they are. Hmm. Yeah, 
you got somebody in your work environment. This could definitely be you, Leo, or this could be somebody, like I said, around you that could be stirring up chaos. Like I see like an energy vampire somewhere that could be lurking around you. This could definitely be somebody plotting against you, lying on your name. There's, somebody's throwing dirt on your name to get you fired. Some of you might work in the beauty industry. Or you may have an aspiration to work in the beauty industry. Could be dealing with somebody that works in the beauty industry. Could be jealousy because of the way that somebody looks. That somebody's trying to stir up drama and jealousy. It's like high school. Yep, the truth. Confirmation, somebody's going to get found out. Somebody is lying, manipulating the system in some type of way. And the truth is going to be revealed about something. Leo, you are. Courage, what to courage to what? Stand up, for, tell the truth about something. Yep, some of you could definitely be overdue for a pep smear. Your women's health, you want to take care of that. Mammogram. Some of you could have lost a grandmother to, or, or a mother figure possibly to um, cancer of the female reproductive system, ovarian cancer. Some of you are, like I said, overdue for a well woman check or um, prostate for men. Oh, you got a feeling that you can't shake, you're afraid. Okay, what is this feeling that you can't shake? You're nervous about what? Let's see, because you're nervous about something. Some of you, Leos, what would you be nervous about? Yeah, it's maybe time to see a situation another way. If something happened, like if a job loss happened, it was meant to happen, or if like there were cutbacks that happened, or if you have a business and all of a sudden money flow, like money stopped flowing in. Seven of Wands. Some of you are worried about money. What are you worried about though? Are you worried about this King of Cups? Because it keeps coming up in your reading. And it keeps coming up in reverse. What are you worried about? Oh, some of you are worried about a third party situation. Maybe having something to do with the Sagittarius. Worried that maybe there's something going on behind your back at work. Are some of you worried about somebody's health? Some of you might be worried that somebody's going to pass away. All right. Some of you are mag magicians in some type of way. Yeah, you love somebody to the moon and back. No doubt about it. You might be traveling. And some of you might be traveling for work. Plants and seeds. Seed planter. I did say father figure. The seed planter, somebody planted a seed, somebody has a child somewhere, you might be finding out about a child. So you're worried about third party situations. Some of you are worried that your partner is cheating on you. You might be finding out that somebody has fathered a child. Like I'm hearing you are the father, like in Mori voice, Mori, yeah, you are the father. Somebody has a child. Somebody could have kept a, a baby's mom a well-kept secret. You might be worried about that. You're worried about something. Some of you are worried about your health. You're worried about your job. You're worried about what you're going to do next. Some of you could be worried about a court case, a legal matter. Yeah, health. It could be your financial health. It could be the health of somebody around you. It could be your own health. The health of a mother figure. We did talk about healing. So there could be somebody around you that could be sick. You might be worried that somebody's going to pass away and somebody may actually get over a health issue. Yeah, you might be taking your time and you do have some some issues here. There's definitely a father figure. Some of you, there's, there's a lot of... Um, somebody has a child slept with somebody outside of their marriage. I don't know what all of this has to do with work. 
or if any of it, like a, a majority of it has to do with work, it could just be that there's a, there's a love situation that's kind of like taking over your brain and distracting you at work. But let's see what's coming in next, okay? Because it looks like there's a lot of success coming in for you. But some of you, like I said, you are psychic mediums or you deal with things that are outside of the norm. Like you are highly gifted spiritually. And you might be stepping into, tapping into that side of yourself. Why am I hearing right-brained? I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The name Maya could be significant. The shining star, I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Yeah, so something ended. It's definitely time to shine your light for all to see. So if there's a pause in action. So some of you, you, there could definitely be a job loss. You're definitely between jobs. And yep, you're focusing on your destiny. I focus on service and allow and follow my higher purpose. So this job loss for some of you could definitely be catapulting you into your life purpose. Third eye is activated. You're definitely a seer of some type. You're stepping into your life purpose. A lot of you have a spiritual calling on your life or your, your calling is to be a mother. Some of you, you may have lost your mother at a young age. And so maybe you are nurturing a very successful, special, spiritual child. Or some of you, like I said, you were spiritually gifted as children. Some of you could be thinking about going into midwifery, being a doula. You are an awakener. Some of you have Scorpio in your chart or very strong Scorpio placements. You're definitely like the Phoenix rising. Somebody's doing spells, huh? This doesn't necessarily have to be bad. These spells to manifest. Yeah, you could be manifesting some good luck for yourself. Definitely feel like luck is on your side. Some of you have to do something with spirituality. Like I'm seeing runes. Some of you are definitely oracles. I did say messengers. You may be doing something with tarot. Yeah, that might be something that you might be interested in and dab dabbling into the occult. You're definitely very telepathic. You have the ability to transform people's minds. I did say that you're a messenger. You're highly influential, highly persuasive. You help people come into balance. You help people see things about the world that maybe they didn't see before. You are. You're very cl clear audience. You have the ability to receive intuitive messages from spirit. Like I said, maybe even from the afterlife. You're very sweet for some of you. And... Um, yeah, you have a way of shaping the world's perception in a different way. Some of you definitely could be getting psychic dreams. Prophetic dreams. You could be um, getting dreams about things that are about to happen, foreseeing things before they happen. Some of you could have strong air in your chart. Or you may manifest with the air element. Yeah, I promise you, you do something in divination. You're definitely highly intuitive. You're empaths. And if there isn't a Scorpio or a Sagittarius that is around you, I don't know what to say. You got Jupiter that's like hovering over your head. Mercury, which continues to come out. Virgo and Gemini. And Aquarius. Some of you could definitely be innovators. What am I looking for? I was reaching for something in particular and then the thought left me. What is this? Yeah, lack consciousness. Could definitely be where the, your spirit guides want you to have this shift in perception. You could be subconsciously blocking your money. Man. So like I said, there isn't an Aquarius. Step out of your comfort zone, says your spirit guides. Get out of your comfort zone. Do something different. Do what you were called to do. Okay. If this is resonating for you and you have a spiritual gift, you have a spiritual calling and you already know that, they're saying put together a practical plan because you might be very close to achieving your goal and may not realize that there's the moon there. Some of you, okay, are very highly intuitive, psychic dreams. 
There's some type of subconscious fear that might be holding you back from doing something. A fiery climax approaches. That could definitely be um, tempers flaring. This could definitely be, like I said, this could be a blow up of some type. I don't know, some of you could be bloated, random. Nothing is yet set in stone. The answers that you need are coming. So everything might feel like it's up in the air with this crescent moon. But in the light of the full moon, you may be able to see. Some of you, sorry for the interruption, Leo, may not be under the impression that you can financially sustain yourself doing something spiritual. But the, the truth is that the answers that you need are coming. The clarity that you need about maybe pursuing something, putting a plan into action. Yes, have faith in your dreams. You might be getting some type of premonition in your dreams about what you were really intended to do and what your gifts really are. But your spirit guides are saying it's going to be up to you to be bold and make the first move to go toward whatever this is that you got a calling to do. But yeah, some adjustments are going to be acquired, required because it does look like things are out of alignment for you. Something is with an Aries. You might have a North Node in Aries, a South Node in Aries or Gemini. Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, and Cancer are like screaming in your reading. Sagittarius as well, and Aquarius. Yep, you're going toward your passions. Forgiveness, releasing some type of baggage that is really haunting you. I did say psychic medium. I'm like stuck on that. Like that, for some of you, I got promise. If that resonates for you, that's your calling. Meditation is going to be very healing for you. I'm saying like spiritual development. What do you need to let go of? What is blocking you? I'm almost calling you Sagittarius or Aquarius, but I, I know I'm reading for Leo. Some of you could definitely be into Vedic astrology. Check out your Ketu. Figure out what your placements are there. That could definitely give you some type of a guidance. Maybe even your Midheaven. You, that, that could definitely give you some type of guidance and some insight. That's not what I meant to do. But that definitely is here for a reason. No, oh, be careful with driving. Make sure that you're not dr recklessly driving. Make sure that there's not somebody leading you astray. Like I said, there's a there's a vibe killer. Somebody could be killing your dreams. What risk can I take today? Be not mistaken. You will have to take bigger risk than you ever thought possible on this path toward your dreams. You will have to take big. You will have to take the big scary leap. But do not fret because your soul has wings today's soul action what risk can you take to move toward your dreams make a decision and do it no more thinking only doing be brave and courageous and you will discover what you were really made of <sighs> says your spirit guides what risk can i take today what can i let go of is it your fear your spirit guides are saying take a risk leo be that courageous lion right that's who they want you to be, that fearless lion that you really are, that fearless leader that you really are, because it definitely feels like with you taking the leap, your financial health is, is about to look really solid. Some of you may have an aspiration to work with animals, or are you just really good with animals? Okay, wealth. So it looks like your money situation, yeah, your financial health is about to be looking really solid. Some of you could definitely be getting married, could be getting engaged, but like I said, your money is definitely picking up with you taking courage to go into something. Holy Spirit, show me please the advice for the Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Leo. <laughs> Sagittarius, Virgo. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Sag or your spirit guides are saying, get laser like focused. The name Diana could be significant to you. And yep, you are the Sage. Some of you definitely have Virgo. I did mention Virgo. I told you that that sign is like really heavy in your reading. Holy Spirit, what is any advice that you have for the Leos? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, Leo. 
moon cycles. What did I get this for? I think I did get it for Scorpio, if I'm not mistake, mistaken. Scorpio is like one of the loudest water signs in your reading. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Moon, that's what I meant to talk about. The full moon. The full moon could be very significant to you this time coming up. Uh, you might be manifesting via the full moon. When is the full moon? Next full moon, bear with me. Usually have this memorized. Some of you, yeah, moon, you may have a moon in Scorpio. Might be your moon sign. You may have a moon in Cancer or maybe even Pisces or a midheaven in Pisces or Cancer. Yeah. Goodness. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Next full moon is February 27th. February 22nd could be very significant or around this period of time, something very significant might be playing out for you. Somebody passed away through a car accident. Clearing your chakras. I think it's your heart chakra because it feels like you're grieved. You're grieving something. The loss of someone or the loss of something, something has ended and you're grieving that. But no doubt about it, it could definitely be your crown, your third eye. Your root, your sacral, sacral, root. You might want to definitely focus on your lower chakras. Life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Why am I hearing nutrition and diet? Because it could be affecting your health in some type of way, but this could definitely be relationships around you. We did talk about forgiveness. What do you need to let go of? If you're holding on endlessly to some type of resentment, believe me, your body is affected by this. If you're holding on to any type of stress, your body responds to these things. Yeah? Maybe time to let go of something for the purpose of your health. Gentleness. Be gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. And yeah, it may be absolutely time to be gentle with yourself. Some of you, this could be a health issue or you might be having a health scare your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience yes your spirit guides are saying the answers that you need are coming you've got a gift that your spirit guides are wanting you to nurture but they want you to be patient either with the process yeah with the process of something something's unfolding patient with your situation some of you could definitely be walking by sight rather than faith you're walking you're you're so fixated on what you see rather than what your spirit guides are really trying to convey to you or un like show you and unfold for you at this time. They want you to walk by faith and not by sight, but most importantly, your spirit guides want you to remember who you are, Leo. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Sometimes we forget in the hustle and bustle of life or if other people have torn down our dreams or given us some type of discouragement, we might be forgetting who we really are. Your spirit guides are wanting for you to, rem to remind you about who you really are, who you were created to be, what your purpose really is on this earth. It's not just to work, you know, and be and, and survive. You've got something deeper that they want you to fulfill. With that, Leo, this concludes your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. If you would like to book a personal session with me, the way to do so would be to go to my website. You can find the link to my website below in the description box. Otherwise, you can just go to angelicascensionstarot.com is where you can book your reading. If you found that this was helpful, Leo's, give me a thumbs up below. Leave a comment. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. If you just subscribe to decide to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell, Leo, so that you don't miss an upload of mine. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace out.